minute seven and Alaska Laura here. Welcome back to Beware of the Hair. So anyway, today um, we're going to talk about how Morgellons is a metaphysical disease and the importance of, of, of spiritual connection. And there's a little bit more to it than that. Um, and it's super important. I, you know, what would be a great way to start would be if you told your story about that. You know, thank you, Laura. Um, I, you know, I remember when I was really sick thinking, you know, to myself, I'm never going to get better, you know, better. I'm never going to like, this thing is going to kill me. And I mean, spent so long in darkness and like I'd make all this progress and then there would be something happening where it'd be a setback and like whether it was the choices I made or like all these things kept coming up you know and it just like the disease just like progressed and I you know it was getting worse and, and it was like every time anytime I thought it would get better it just seemed to get worse and uh, you know, the whole time, Alaska Laura, she's just getting better and I'm watching her get better. I said, how are you doing it? You know, like, and she says, you know, how am I doing it? Uh, she, you know, she looked at me and she said, well, because you asked, I remember though, you, you, you actually asked me, um, we're doing the exact same things. How come you're getting better? And, and I'm, I'm not. not. Yeah, that's right. And she said, because not one time did I ever believe that I wouldn't heal from this. And I was like, wow, you know, and it was hard for me to argue that because I'm watching her. And it's like at that moment, I realized that, you know, it wasn't about me and my disease and my sickness and my isolation and my suffering. And no one believes me. It wasn't about that. It was about my perspective mm -hmm. and how yeah. I was seeing things and how I wasn't believing that I was going to get better. And I was only seeing the negative and I was feeling like it was a very self self-centered disease at that time and so I had to do a lot of soul searching I did a really big 360 in my life I mean I, I made every change possible as far as mm -hmm. what I was doing uh thinking yeah. um really just I went into this whole waking up I guess is what some of you would call it yeah yeah the and awakening the awakening you know yeah. and that's when I realized that I didn't have to be in darkness and I was gonna heal I had the power to heal and I had the power to get better because if my girlfriend can do it what why can't I and that's the moment my life changed and my thoughts became my reality yeah it's I mean it's amazing it's since it is such a metaphysical disease I mean um, it's it, uh, quantum physics you know has proven that the spiritual realm exists yes you know so i mean scientifically if you want to get to like hard evidence of things or anything you know scientifically they have proven the spiritual realm and that's why there's been so much studying done with the you know so much money invested in studying those things because it, it does exist and those energies are there and why there's the brain initiative and things like that you yeah. know so our brains are powerful we are powerful we how are connected because what love is light light is love. light is love yes everything is made of love and light though all everything is you know our i feel like for a lot of us star seeds um you know our whole life it was kind of like preconditioned to always believe in a greater power outside of yourself um always looking for you know something out there to save you and not ever really learning to believe in yourself <laughs> and you know i'm here to we're here to tell you right now like you need to find your higher power and that does begin within yourself um, it does begin within yourself well it's 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 because the only thing that is real is love and yes. and you know so when you're when you're in the darkness and which like we say you have to go through those you times have to go through the darkness get, it's the spiritual awakening process right it's part of the spiritual awakening process all of this hardship all of this think of it as like leveling up you guys you don't have to live there anymore you're not alone you're not isolated this is not your disease we don't even say oh, my more that's something that, that <laughs> seven taught me a lot she um i would always say oh my more is getting a lot better and she right. said don't own that it's not yours it's not yours it's to not, own it's no. not yours you don't it doesn't belong to you yeah you know, this is this is an affliction upon us that we did not consent to. Yeah, it, it's just something that um, is 
trying to survive on our it's, body. Yes, it's an energy in parasite. Our body. It's trying yes. to survive on us. And so when I look in the mirror, um, and what really, really helped me was when I was able to look in the mirror and in my eyes, see the reflection of me for who I see myself to be. Because Finally. really, this is just a shell. This is a shell. You know, this is a shell. What we are is in, in here. here. And in so here. <laughs> that's why letting go of vanity is so important because it strips you of that. I mean, like mm -hmm. we, you know, yeah, like hard. we talked about, you know, for a long time, I mean, you can see pictures of both of us. It would be like what you would consider in modern day society. We were both attractive women. I mean, yeah. you know, yes, I very much so. going through this, I feel like I'm more attractive now because I know who I am now on the inside and what it what this doesn't look like doesn't matter because it's not permanent it's and the not. beauty of it is guess what yeah we're afflicted with it but it doesn't own us and we don't own it well and, and speaking <sighs> of that though that's the thing that um is so important okay so i'm reading that's why we wanted to do this love and light channel when we were getting on there and and i didn't stopped getting on nearly as much and commenting because everything i would get back would be so negative you know and it's like oh my gosh look at this and scary stuff and sometimes the religious parts that turned me off was people right. just always talking about demons and the demons out there Attachments. and it's like okay if yeah. you focus on protocols. those things that's what is going to be in your that's reality what you're that's what you're attracting it's the if law you're of thinking attraction. it and you're looking at it and you're watching it and that's what you're focusing your time on that's what's going to morphosize into your reality no matter what well, and if you have you a know? news feed full of negativity, negativity on facebook and you're going through and you're and you're believing oh, this you and have reading this, it oh don't meditate it it lets you have demon attachments you know oh it's just no. crazy things that don't, are like yeah, you know, meditation is so important yeah it's so important to to find yourself in here and to be able to and that's okay mm -hmm. so that's the one message i want to make sure that we get across to you is when you sit and especially when you type it out and post it that I am so sick and I am dying. That's what you're, you're telling your subconscious out. and you're putting it into you're your subconscious. You're making that manifest into reality. You're putting that out to the universe. Well, and you're also programming it into and your subconscious. And you're programming it into your subconscious. And your subconscious so your body sick. learns to hold on, hold on to, to it that. instead of letting it go. Let go so of the we trauma. need to start yeah. seeing the healing. Like that's the one thing that I always have said i said mm -hmm. i always believe i'm going to heal from this and that is one i've consistently gotten better since i got to my sickest i've consistently gotten better and and it's but it's believing and knowing and and yeah i got to a point though that when i was really sick that i i didn't want to wake up and and you yeah, know and it was after that. you know the whole process a lot of us lose our children through the process you know and i had had her go live with her dad um anyway um i i kept chugging along. No, I'm going to find a cure. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to, and, and my daughter, when, when OCS actually stepped in because they said I was crazy, um, and took my daughter, that was really, um, hard. And I didn't want to get up for three weeks after that. I wasn't suicidal, but I didn't want to get up. And my family said, you know, maybe get on the antidepressants they were suggesting, which do help. I, I, I take the xylopram and that significantly helped to kind of fade the matrix yeah you know, I, I started in. taking the same thing a few like about six months ago and i definitely say it definitely helps it definitely helps it definitely too. helps just make it so it's less you know of a void you know it just kind of gives you yeah. a little normalcy i yeah, guess you could say you that, know and there's no shame that in that helped to get yeah. me um to get me not seeing the matrix as much but then seven came and and you know <laughs> the, you. Uh, uh, having Having had my daughter not be there and that my, that my family wasn't believing me at that time. And, you know, it was really a difficult time for me. Um, I wrote a book, actually, yep. about it. That's yep. actually, she read my book. 1,800 miles I flew over here to Alaska because of her yeah. awesomeness. It was, you know, what I was seeing and reading and, and um, you know, communicating with her at the time in a support group. It was like everything that she was talking about resonated. At the time, nothing made sense. I mean, I was thought I was losing my mind. And I found her and she saved my life, you know. No, I, 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 I mean, without her, I don't know. And so we've been really yeah. blessed in that. But that being said, you know, well, you guys, why we're we have here. you now. Well, you know, you have us. A healing group that <laughs> yeah, we we're together. Truly to in this with you guys like we are here yeah this is so, what we you don't came need to, do. to live I in mean, the darkness anymore you don't you need to start focusing on your thoughts and your presence in the now and what that means is just be be present in the now and living try to, in the now living in the now and being grateful and switching those negative thoughts or those self-doubting thoughts or those more gelling thoughts switch it to something that you're grateful for like 
even like if you just have like a little dog. Just... Hey, we're back. We had technical difficulties. <laughs> Sorry about that. We were talking about being in the now and I wanted to say Abraham Hicks is a great source for just learning to discover um, the uh, how to live in the now. They she had a lot of videos about living in the now um, and there's short and they're great exercises mm -hmm. and they're just amazing pieces of tools she talks about the law of attraction which you know is a universal law very important mm -hmm. law that it's very significant mm -hmm. yeah. and helping with healing and things like that manifestation and frequencies and emotion and then she also talks about staying in the vortex and how to like find your frequency and get into that vortex where you're in that positive frequency and you're creating a lot more positive for yourself mm -hmm. you know because that's so important because darkness flutters in the light you know, mm -hmm. It totally Absolutely. does. I mean, and when mm -hmm. people come at you with negative stuff and negative things on Facebook, and that's what I, we we are ter just react with light and love is yeah. is is the always the goal. You know, yeah. we're all human, but yeah. you know, just trying to trying to because they don't know what to do. You know, people it's people want negative back. Negative feeds negative. The law of attraction works both ways. Right. Okay, you can sit there and go manifest this positivity and health and and but then like, when you stop for a second mm -hmm. and then you doubt it and you say, oh, I'm so sick, I'm so sick. Then you're you just right counteract it. You're yeah. just putting out the negative attraction right so like a lot of times too you know you when like i mean most of the time actually like i just always like i'll like envision myself like pushing the more jones out of me and like envision mm -hmm. like Definitely. energy flowing out Definitely. of me especially when i'm underneath like the sun Definitely. outside and you can just you know you just mm -hmm. feel that emanate you push it out of you you can well, mentally like, so push it i out. had a, i had a um uh Re reading done from a healer mm -hmm. that my mom um, is amazing mm -hmm. and one of the things that um, the universe told me that um, the message they were sending to me which was they kept telling me um, the time is now to do this too was another big the message time is now <laughs> but um, they also told me um, to say take from me that which is not mine and she said mm -hmm. You need to um, find your comf your spot that your safe spot that always made you feel empowered when you were when right. you were um, a childhood usually is a, a spot from childhood or just but wherever that safe spot is you and you imagine that spot and you um, you picture yourself with roots that are going down and extending down in the ground and you, and you and you mm -hmm. say you say mother earth give me all the nutrients that I need and sorry, then sorry about that anyway so, and then you, you ask for the nutrients from you need from Mother Earth, and then you can even ask for the angels to help cut the strings that are, and you can picture it, like Seven said. Yeah. You know, you picture it. You know, I, I always picture this darkness coming out. Yeah. I, I picture the light coming from here and and, 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 yeah. and, and and coming in the top of my head and filling me with this glorious light, light. that's healing and loving. And you oh can God, feel, I can yeah. feel it as I say that, Seven. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so powerful. Oh, yeah. But take from me that which is not oh, mine. Mm -hmm. And you meditate on that and you can fill yourself with light mm -hmm. and love. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I just, I mean, and the when you start to go on that getting more positive and getting it's amazing how much it progresses but that's you know kind of why yeah. I think we started with the videos on the basic instruction because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are so sick that I can remember I couldn't think I couldn't right. like I had so much fluid in my head I couldn't even process I would walk into a room and forget what I was even doing I remember I was hearing sounds and I, rem I mean I had things flying off my yeah. head it was bad so a lot of times for me when I was in that situation I found like using the rock and like just closing your eyes and pushing that like holding that rock on mm -hmm. somewhere really Rocks sore, are swollen, and yeah, just meditating so and like me thinking about that more is like that pressure just going into the rock and relieving the pressure. And, and a lot of times, it. the rock will like kind of magnetically like go to where it needs to almost because of where the channels are, and it's it's actually quite a quite an experience. Well, you know, I I had brought in a big rock, and when I was really full of fluids in my head, every morning I would wake up with a migraine, and my I, it felt like it was going to pop. I'd spend an hour literally laying on this rock yeah, and it would, I could, it would suck it out mm -hmm. and it would, I wouldn't have to take anything for my migraine. It would take it away. I mean, you it, like you meditate know? while you're doing it and like, like think mm -hmm. about just this ethereal energy just going out, you know, and it does, it, 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 it does. It and it helps you become so you in do, the now too. Exactly. It helps you, it helps you learn how to meditate, you know, just taking that moment to yourself and just like breathing and yeah, doing that process of, We'll kind of go, we'll show you how we do it like later on in a how-to episode, but yeah, so, for now. 
So living in the now and trying to be grateful for something, you know, it's hard it when hard. we're this sick to be grateful. I mean, when you, I was that sick, but when I, I'm talking to you guys as the viewers, um, if, wherever you're at, it's hard when you're really sick. I know I get it. It takes because pain, it's, it's terrible. I, but, but you don't it's have temporary. to fear it. Yeah. Fear feeds that. It really and, does. And that, it and that, it. that frequency of fear is low frequency. Yeah, you can't you can't be a part of the awakening process with any kind of drugs or alcohol. I mean, unless it's like God's green earth marijuana, you know, you want to you really want to clear your system of all heavy chemicals. Um, well, you can't you can't deal with emotional things right while you're under the influence of right. things, and you know that's so so. You're, you're, that's being used instead of processing things and going right. through this awakening process where you do have to go through the darkness right. to get to the light. But, you know, a lot of us are at the point where we're at the, you know, we're ready to you can help you get go there. there. So <laughs> you really yeah. check out Abraham Hicks. I'm serious yeah. about that one. But there, I really want to um, share a story here before we close off. And, um, you know, I was a dental hygienist for 20 years. And, um, you know, I had a lot of regular patients that I saw at the practice I was at for a long, long number of years. And... My patients um, came in um, within about two months of each other. They were, they were both couples that had raised their families. And um, they so they were in their uh, probably 80s. Um, and they were both neat couples. I, I enjoyed both of them. Anyway, one um, within these two months of each other, both of the women uh, had developed Alzheimer's, these two couples. Well, one of the couples, it, they, were, they were like really positive about everything. They tried to lighten things, you know, they would like, okay, like, um, two or three years into it, they said, when I went out to the waiting room and called her name, they said, what, what, who, who's that? And then they both looked at each other and laughed, you know, and they're like, we're trying to take it with as much humor as possible because it is what it is, you know, but we can, you know, we're not seeing it as it is, you know, we're, we're not going to go with the, the, the terminal thing, you know, we're going to, we're going to look at this positively and, and they, and she took six years to even start start really going downhill, which they had given her only a couple, you know, it was amazing. And the other couple, okay, they were mm. very, very negative about it. They were very angry. They were, it, they were supposed to be together a lot longer. They'd worked hard their, all, their lives. And now, now they weren't going to be able to have their time together. He was sick. She got so sick within the first year within two years she was terrible she was le That's acting sad. like a toddler and and three years and she passed the other ones i mean it's amazing it's so much wow. your the perspective that you take on things and that's wow. i think yeah. do we have anything else to share is that a good note to oh, end it on a really good story and yeah i mean just to everybody out there you know um really god bless you guys i mean you're standing now you're here you're I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty awesome people, the people that are going through this. So don't you forget for a second who you are. Yeah, don't, you're pretty don't special. at all. So, you know, meditate and try and try and get that connection because the metaphysical part of it, you know, you put the legwork in on the other parts that we're showing you and then you develop this connection. And I really Love do yourself. recommend that yeah. Abraham Hicks. That's helped me um, come from a place where, you know, I, I, I had my child at a young age. Anyway, I didn't get to discover my spiritual self until I was a lot older and it really helped to guide me into um, mm -hmm. being able to, to to learn what the law of attraction, the power of now, those things. And, it, and it's real simple, short, neat, neat videos. Speaking of which, um, Laura actually, you know, she was talking about her daughter earlier, um, wanted to share that, you know. As oh, her, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, one of the things that um, I had said earlier in the video today was about um, the process that we go through, you know, and, and it's a hard one to complete isolation, you know. Um, with most people with Morgellons. Um, it's what we choose to do once we get there that, that um, you know, and it is what we choose to do because mm -hmm. we have the power. We have the light. God is in all of us. Yes. We are all one. Yes. Anyway, so, um, but because I picked myself up and, and went through the things that I had to do to get the fluids out and stuff so I could think normally and could live normally again, which took a little bit, mm -hmm. um, I got my daughter back. I got 50% custody of my daughter back. And and they even in court, I talk about Morgellons and the judge even says that that um, he doesn't say that I I don't have a psycho psychological disorder. They actually know that um, 
that, yeah, anyway, they see that I'm healthy and I'm doing well now. And they said that I've overcome. It's just amazing. Anyway, right. um, and you know, having, having seven here. Our plate is very, that. very full, but it's all soul food. Yeah, exactly. So it's all about perspective and, and, and yeah. Yeah. You guys, uh, yeah. You want more positive for, in your life. You've got to just try and focus on the, even if it's just the littlest things. And you know what? Let us be that littlest thing, if nothing else. Yeah. You know, we are here for you. And, and any one of you can reach out to us. We are here to help. Yep. Seriously. All the way. All the and, way, And guys. we're in this. The darkness is over. And, and we're it's not. It's for the light to shine. Yeah. We're not. And this is not ever going to be about um, money at all ever no. that's not we are doing this to help people yeah. free so that's it so thank you for being here yeah thank you for supporting yeah. us and thank we're, you for everything exactly we're all one and we're all in this together and and oh well, that was one thing we talked about that um, i do want to yeah. mention we were gonna try and set up um a date for like um to all light a candle together candles of healing so that like the right. more of us that are in a group and we're all healing at the same yeah. time and we're all doing that and that more of that energy like creates more healing energies of more healing. healing yeah so yeah. the goal being um to so, to to have be connected and and that gives us all just it's so gonna we're gonna be set excellent. that up and we'd love for you guys to join us uh, we'll do it live uh through facebook and uh so we'll uh, we'll set some uh remind uh, some announcements when we'll be and uh but we'll i want to do it i, like, I want to get your feedback on that yeah, so and comment regularly. below yeah. on this one and let us know what you think about having a time that we all do that together and yeah. what you think about this um that we, we want to hear back from you mm -hmm. um because we're all we're all together here guys yeah and we've we had love some you. pretty great feedback and some pretty amazing stories that are pretty touching to the soul so it's, thank you for that oh, you, it's, um, we, you just I'm just been amazing warm our hearts oh and my give gosh, us purpose to keep on going yes you do it's so with all of that from beware of the hair love light and healing to love you. light and healing good night Until next time